Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to add your own images or photos to Canva, how you can import them, how you can use them, and also video as well. You can import your own video and use that in Canva as well. So let's dive into Canva and have a look. So once we're here in Canva, what you're going to want to do is decide the type of post that you want to create. So you can choose from all sorts of social media, marketing, all kinds of documents. The one we're going to work with today is a Facebook post. So you just click on that and then that will open up in a new window. I've already done that. And then when you come to the window here, you'll be faced with normally what's the templates. However, down the side here, you'll see there's all these other options and there's an option here called uploads. If you don't have the option showing here, if you click on the more at the bottom here and you, there's a whole world of other things that you can do in Canva and if this is your first time here my name is Darren and we do all things Canva and help content creators with their content creation so if that's something you're into consider subscribing down below back to Canva and when we come on to here come to uploads now you can see here I've already uploaded a couple of images but all you need to do is you need to click on upload an image or video and then you just choose it'll take you to your locations of where you keep your images and you can just upload those so let's just say I want to upload this headshot of me so just upload there you'll see it'll take a moment take a little bit longer depending on the size of the image it'll take might take a little bit longer but uh, there you go that's it and then once it's in there all you have to do is you click on it and it'll take it across to your image so you can then just position it you can resize it as and when you want uh, you can do all the other sorts of things that you can do with any other image that you use in Canva you can choose to flip it horizontally uh, you can choose to flip it vertically you can choose to crop your image so I can choose to crop the image if I wanted to um, let's just click cancel on that I can choose filters, so there's all these filters that you can do. It's the same as you do with any other image um, in Canva. Now, the other way you can do is if you've got a folder with your images, I'll just drag this across here. If you've got your folder of your images, you can just simply just drag it and drop it onto this area here. And no matter where you drop it, it'll then start uploading <laughs> my internet's super slow so i'm going to wait for that to upload and then i'll come back to you so while we're waiting for that to upload for those of you that are new here my name's darren meredith and on this channel i help you with your content creation whether that's photography video or digital content so if that's something you're into or if that's something you want to learn more about don't forget to consider subscribing down below i'd really appreciate it it does help the channel out and anything that i mention in this video or any other videos or the gear that i use i've put a link down below to all that as well so if you're looking at new gear or anything else like that or you want to try out a free trial of canva and its pro features i've put a link down in that those are affiliate links it costs you nothing more but it does help out this channel so let's get back into Canva and have a look at that image. Okay, so you'll see once it stops uploading, the little dark floating will have finished. And then it's just a simple case of clicking on it and then just using it however you want to use it in your image or in your design. And it's the same for videos. You just come on over. Uh, these are some really random videos that I've uploaded where I was demonstrating on how to use some video in Canva. If you've not watched that video, I'll put a link up here for you. Um, but that's it for today. If you've got any other questions or you want to know anything else about Canva, please drop me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. But until next time, bye for now.